very high pitched screams tonight. So that's great. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our show. I'm Harry Arnett. You guys know that. This is Cali Live. You also know that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how this particular show came to life. Because we've had all kinds of guests on this show, ranging from the best tour players in the world to celebrities to business folks to people from media. And then we also had Chris Harrison from The Bachelor on uh, a season or two ago. And we, mm, here's the thing. We have a lot of closeted Bachelor fans here in Callaway. We also have a lot of uncloseted, flamboyant fans of The Bachelor, and one of which is our great producer, Lex, and she said, we have to get Caitlin Bristow on the show. She plays golf, she's awesome, and we were like, how are we gonna get Caitlin on the show? She says, leave it to me. If we can get her on the show, would you have her on? I said, absolutely. And so, one thing led to another. Caitlin said yes to come on the show. The only caveat was, Sean Booth, uh, a.k.a. Sean B. said he's never letting Caitlyn go on another show again without him. <laughs> so he's here as well. So please welcome to our show America's favorite bachelorette, Caitlyn Bristow. Where is she? There she is. Oh, you got one. All right. Good to see you. I brought you one. Is that for me or are you double yeah. fisting? Yeah. All right. Well, I was double fisting, but. Here's to us. Cheers. Here's to us. I'm glad we could have a few minutes together before some other guy walks in and takes me away. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, how many bachelor jokes do you hear in a given day? That's just another That was order. like the 20th of yeah, the day. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's been a few years. Tell me a little bit. Describe Caitlin pre-bachelor, Caitlin post-bachelor. Oh, Caitlin pre-bachelor was a bit of a degenerate. <laughs> uh, I was just living my best life at a restaurant, teaching spin classes, just living in a 420 square foot apartment in Vancouver. Same. Yeah, same. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a lot in common so far. Uh, and yeah, that was me. Oh, and then post? And then post, now I'm like, okay, I um, just finished Broadway. Uh, I heard you're a big Broadway guy. Oh yeah, I love yeah, Broadway, yeah. I'm a big Hamilton guy. Um, I launched a scrunchy line, I'm working on my own wine label, I've got a podcast, and um, yeah, I'm trying to keep up. Was it a hard transition coming off the show? I always wonder, first of all, I wonder, who the hell wants to go on one of those shows? <laughs> Raise your hand if right? you'd wanna go. Right? And One. <laughs> Right there? One. You don't got the face for it, bro. Ah! I'm sorry. Let's stand up. Let me see. You. you ain't got the body for it either. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you can be the drunk guy, night one, who gets sent home. Yeah. There you go. There's always one. There's always one. There's always one. There's always but always you, but even by then, I mean, you say it, there are all the stereotypes that are already yeah. solidified. Yeah. How do you go in and just be yourself? Because I thought I was going to be the drunk girl. <laughs> my whole family and all of my friends were like, Caitlin, you got to reel it Don't in. Don't be the drunk Don't girl. Don't be the drunk girl, night one. Yeah. And I was, but luckily someone else was more drunk than me. They had to think that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pulling the girl out of Canada, they're like, she's going to be the drunk one. Absolutely. But going into that, I think the thing that really resonated with people that watched the show, and certainly those of us around here, is you seemed like as normal a person as you could actually be on a show like that. I told myself that was just the only way it would work for me. At first I went in, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna fall in love with this farmer. Uh, and then I didn't. And <laughs> <laughs> they brainwashed me a little bit to me. Uh, I thought I did, but then I got sent home. But I. The next time around, I was like, the only way that this would actually work is if I was myself. Yeah, it, I was shocked that you didn't fall in love with the farmer. Yeah. So much there, you know. So much. Crop yeah. talk. Yeah. And, um, you know, what kind of tools jokes. you're using. Yeah. yeah. And then, so then coming out of that, and then you got to go back on mm -hmm. and with a little bit of a twist. Did they tell you bit that beforehand? Twist. The two bachelorettes? Yes. Oh, yeah, they told me. I said no. And then they showed me um, a number, and I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Totally be like, absolutely that. Well, let me see the other bachelor real quick. I, like, I can beat her. I got, yeah. <laughs> I got on the phone with my uh, lawyer and I was like, let's talk numbers. But yeah, no, it was a bit of a twist. Uh, didn't see that one coming. It was about five days before um, they started filming. And I said no, but like I said, they talked me into it and I'm glad I did now. Well, so we're going to talk about Sean in a minute. Mm -hmm. I met him. And I always go in thinking, oh, these guys are such dorks. They going are, in. And then I met Barry Dreamy. I know. I know. And you can, I always say you can tell just meeting him, like, 
in 30 seconds you know he's also a good guy you're like oh you're not just good looking you're also a good human so your your radar was on could you sniff those guys out like yeah. oh immediately? yeah i gave him the first impression rose see i think that would be a great i'm going to tell chris this yes. we ought to have a complete show that gets resolved on the very first episode oh. and you're just like you no you out you no you maybe that's you make new, out sesh you that's, no out. that's a new show it's called the proposal oh. yeah it's a new show that's I out was right too now. late on that one. Oh, look yeah. at all these guys like oh yeah that's a good one it's a, yeah. it's a thing. that's a good that's one that's a thing yeah well coming out of that did you did you feel like you wanted the rest of your career to springboard into like entertainment stuff because some of the paths you've chosen I know you have the podcast mm -hmm. but some of the paths you've chosen have been very entrepreneurial not necessarily media stuff okay so going into the show I don't think I realized what Instagram could be as like a business or like it just kind of was blowing up when I went on the bachelor and then coming out of the bachelorette I was like oh this can be a thing like you can actually make money and so they offered me somebody called me up they're like hey would you post um, yourself in a waste trip Trainer for like X amount of dollars and I'm like yeah <laughs> and I was like I would never use what that thing. What is a thing. waist trainer? I don't even know what I don't is. know but the Kardashians use it. Is that like the old thing it. with like the band that goes like wah 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 no, oh. no it just like goes around your waist and it's dumb and I was like cool it's a paycheck I just came from like a world of like the restaurant and teaching spin like that amount of money great and then I remember my girlfriend calling me and she's like if you want any sort of like career and longevity with Instagram you take that down right now and I don't care what they offer you because it was really hard to navigate out of that world because I I did see I lost a lot of fo followers from it people were like ooh I don't want to follow her if you're gonna just be selling us on anything so it was tough to come out of it and try to understand like okay if you want this to be like a long-term thing you can't just promote anything give everybody like a 20% discount on your flat tummy tea. Like, you just gotta actually do things that That's you believe like a in. That's not good offer, actually. Talk, tell me a little bit I more know. about that. <laughs> it really is. I know. Check out my Instagram. I will. <laughs> well, so, what, how did, before the show, were you on social media a lot before that? Because now no. you're a really fun follow. Not at all. Well, thank you. But no, I wasn't. I, well, I was on Not that I stalk you or anything. I mean, just, yeah. You know, I, I just got Instagram like not too long before I went on. Yeah. It, but I didn't know it could be a business out of it. Like that's been the craziest thing to me so far is, uh, and actually, you know what? Starting a podcast, I learned from being on TV that I didn't like being on TV and that I was like, oh, I can just wear sweats and get drunk behind like a microphone and not you a camera. You could work right here at Callaway with that. Yeah. that <laughs> I would love to, are you offering me <laughs> yeah, a job? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, can, you do a lot better than half the folks we have working back there. <laughs> Oh, shit. Right Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. Uh, but yeah, I was just like, podcast to me, I could wear sweatpants. Like I said, I decided that I didn't want to go like the entertainment route, well, even though I still like love it. Like if Dancing with the Stars, if you want to call me. Mm. Um, but I was just like, I want to come up with my own wine label and do all these things where I can just kind of hide behind the scenes sometimes too. Yeah. And has it been fun? So much fun. So far, has the three years gone by fast? Really fast, yeah. I, don't, I can't believe it's been three years. And people recognize you, I assume, whenever you're, you're in Nashville now. Yes. I oh, think Nashville's we can say that. Like, she lives in Nashville, in case anyone doesn't know. Nashville is like the bachelorette capital of the world. <laughs> so it's all these bachelorette girls on their bachelorette parties, like probably just looking for Sean B. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's why you guys keep a close tabs on each other, I would assume. He, no, he opened <laughs> up a gym and all the girls can find him there. <laughs> I tried doing that. I opened up a gym and no one came. I couldn't figure out why, because we didn't have any, there were no exercise equipment or anything. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, we had a full buffet, which I oh, thought would be attractive. That's to my people. kind of gym. Yeah, Was exactly. there wine? Full, absolutely. Oh, wow. Full buffet, wine. We had an uh, ice cream bar and a yogurt machine. Oh. And, uh, and no one came. I don't understand. I know. I needed, I needed to get you to hawk my services on Instagram a little bit. Mm. So what's next for you and Sean B? Are, we, are, are you guys have been like strangely closed lip about what's happening with the relationship. Are it's we? nice to see, I think so. Oh. At least to me, <laughs> at least to me back there. Well, he, I think honestly, because we used, we used to be all over social media, but I think because we both have been like starting our own businesses, I, I'm, people were starting the rumor that we broke up. I don't have my ring on, so people were freaking out. But the whole reason is because as soon as we came off the show, we sa he was like, well, you know, that's not how I want to propose, right? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I don't want to propose five minutes after you just dumped another guy mm -hmm. and you knew it was coming. So um, I've planned on actually for a long time giving the ring back so that he can surprise me and re-propose. So no pressure, Sean. <laughs>
We're not going to pressure Sean uh, for at least for another 30 seconds before yeah, we bring no, it Yeah, at least, yeah, yeah. No, but honestly, no pressure because we're both so... I, I don't even want to plan a wedding right now. I'm like, uh, babies? Sure. Wedding planning? Not up my alley. Uh, I'm from the South, so usually those order doesn't happen that way. Uh, but it happens the other way. Right. Not yeah. in my world. That's good. Canadian. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it goes beer, babies, yeah. and then uh, the wedding. Oh, yeah. Beer, oh, sorry. Beer, babies, more beer, wine, wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah. We're going to ask Sean because he's a, he's a proper, proper Southern gentleman, is, so we'll yeah. bring him out here in a second. Okay. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with Sean B, and we're going to get to the bottom of this whole thing. Right after this. <laughs> What happened was the first season actually wasn't that great as far as the ratings go. It was this guy named Alex Michelle, and ABC was a bit of a dumpster fire back then. It was it was kind of the, the old shows got tired, and you know, it was like NYPD Blue, and according to Jim, some of these older shows were kind of dying out, and so The Bachelor came along. And so it was good, but it wasn't, you know, it didn't change the world. But over the summer, there was this, this weird change, and people really got behind the show. And by the time it came back in the fall of 2002 with Aaron Berge, and that's when, you know, we had upwards of 20, 30 million people watching, I, you could just tell, like, I feel like something's changed. And, like, I, I, for some reason, I feel like my life's never going to be the same. And I, I didn't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but I could just tell. And it wasn't TV. It was, like, the New York Times, Time Magazine, People Magazine, and, and, and places you wouldn't expect that you would see them talking about the show. And I thought, they're talking about my show. And eventually you see on Saturday Night Live, they're spoofing you. And you're like, you know, I don't know, if, like, holy, there's kids here. <laughs> holy heck. Yeah. You know, they are, this is, this is that's different. We're not you know, a network, so you Chris can Chris Kattan is playing me on TV. Yeah. And he's spoofing me, um, which is a weird thing. <laughs> yeah. Take one, Mark. Yeah, we're speeding. Hi, how's it going? I've got a window right there. Actually, it's your window, and I'm going to hit this chrome soft right through it. When I drop the shot down, you don't want to be right there. Uh, I think that hit the middle of the camera, actually, uh, flight-wise. So on the couch, if you could just lean a little. A little more. That's it, perfect. Yeah? Yanny or Laurel? I hear, I hear the Laurel, but I guess I can sometimes hear the Y part. I have a little bit of all three, actually. Now, so I have the blade short irons, 8, 9 wedge, I have the X-Forge 5, 6, 7, and then the longer irons are like the less spin of the Rover, I actually have the Epic, but... <laughs> like light right here. Chrome soft. You've never played a ball like this. I can do anything with this ball, or I can do anything with this ball. I guess that's the same. Never mind. <laughs> so I can do anything with this ball, tip the cap, walk away. Got it. Yeah. I can do anything with this ball. Very nice. Yeah, that that's perfect. Yeah. All right, welcome back to Calgary Live. Here we are today, Caitlin Bristow. We're about to make Callaway Live history because usually on the show we always have one dreamy person on. Man, I mean. Excuse you. Man, I mean. Oh. Tonight we're going to have two dreamy men yeah. on the show. Please welcome uh, Caitlin's ball and chain, Sean B. <laughs> See what I mean by how dreamy he is? He's very dreamy. So uh, during the break, someone asked Caitlin what's uh, something that you want to confess, and she thought of something, but then she didn't bring it out. Give us a confession. Tell us something about Caitlin that we don't know. It's going to incredibly embarrass her and make you sleep on the couch for the next week. Oh, right here boy. On I don't think you can embarrass me. <laughs> like you last night? Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, tell them the whole story uh, then. No, we won't say that one. Um, no, she's not really embarrassing at all. Yeah. I think everything she does, she tells everybody on her Snapchat anyway, so <laughs> they I'm probably know more than I do. I'm an open book. She so is. That's been the case since day one, right? Yeah. yeah. An open book, yeah. And so when you first saw Caitlin, you saw her, I assume, on the show previous before you were on. I did. What did you, when you were watching that show, were you thinking, oh, I got to meet this woman? Or were you like, I want to get on the show and maybe I'll like her, maybe I won't? Yeah, I did. I actually uh, I sent out a Snapchat, 
and I put a heart around her, and I said, I'm when coming I got, for you. When I got dumped. When she got dumped. And, uh, you did? It was yeah. A, yeah. That's so cheesy. That worked? It was so it cheesy. Did. Yeah. <laughs> that it's worked? Actually, it's like a curse now because every Everyone. season, um, every bachelorette or bachelor, all I get is tweets of people taking Snapchats like, don't worry, so-and-so, I'm coming for you. Don't worry. It, it worked, worked for, for Sean. So. That's your move. That's yeah. What, yeah. So you're still in your move. Yeah. 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 Did you get advice from folks who are like, okay, don't write the poem. Don't be the weird singing guy. It was just <laughs> advice from my dad and my family being like, don't be the dumb drunk guy. <laughs> Same. That's and you bonded it. over that. I know. Yeah, yeah. bonded yeah. the drunk guy. Yeah. All right, so you said within a few seconds, you can tell whether there's attraction. I would assume that's the same. Yes. What? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can eat sly on the show if you'd like to. No, he, no, no. He has, like, I always call them old man hands. Like, if you guys can see them right now, they're very wrinkly. <laughs> and so it was like, as soon as he touched. Hard working hands. Yeah, yeah that's hard working right. hands. As soon as he touched my hands when he came out of the limo, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, they're really old and wrinkly, but so hot. <laughs> but he's so hot. My move. My uh, move is not wear uh, moisturizer either. That's yeah. a great move. It worked. I like Super that. Super manly. I remember yeah. that one. <laughs> well, my wife and I have a tried and true way that we can tell who's going to win or not. Mm. Yeah. And that's how so long easy. and so inappropriate easy. is the hug when you get out of so the So easy. But I they can't even edit watch that. Now. I know, but we have a whole algorithm where oh, we know okay. how the edit goes. <laughs> I don't even watch. I can tell everything. I, you can tell how from it's going to play music? out. From the music, from the edits, from yeah. the two-on-one, from the... They'll start off with the guy who's like the front runner. Yeah. And everybody likes him. And then they'll start building up the second and third place guy. Yeah. They start building up the bachelor, right? So they they make everybody fall in love with them. Then they start to have you question whether the uh, lead guy is going to get chosen. It's just. The guy who gets picked never gets like a beautiful love story. Right. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or same thing with the girl. Like they always need to. They always need to hype up a girl or guy that's gonna be the bachelor or bachelorette, make America fall in love with them. Then they really need the sob story for the runner-up. Yeah. And then the guy or girl who actually gets picked, they're like, and they're really happy. Yeah. Yeah. They like won't show any happy moments towards the end with the final yeah. with the guy they pick. But no, they don't want you. To, but don't ruin yeah, it. Yeah, I won't ruin it. Yeah. Just, oh. just kidding. Chris won't, Chris won't care. So did, when you go in, though, did you think, like, I'm going to make up this angle? That way I know that I'll at least be in, I'll have to come up with some total sob story so I know that I'll at least get to a certain point. You should have no. thought about that. That's how I would vote. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's life been like since the show for you um, living in? I mean, it's a, little bit of a, it's a little bit of a spotlight. Yeah, a little bit. I, I didn't realize how many people actually enjoyed that show and watched that show. Uh, kind of been a whirlwind, but, I mean... It's been pretty awesome, and we've got to do so many great things. We're at Callaway getting fitted yeah. by yes. the pros. That, that's top of the list, that's right? The top of it the really list. is. Yeah. Top of the yeah. list. <laughs> My dad is so jealous right now. So is mine. Um, but yeah, it's cool stuff like that, traveling and doing what we love to do and start our own businesses and just having fun. And you have you started a gym. I did, yeah. I have a Which, uh, we were gym. talking some workout tips in the back because you were like, hey, man, how do you stay in such good shape? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. It's all about having yeah. a size smaller sweater that I can squeeze everything in. Yeah. It's an, it's an optical right. it's a, illusion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and I have good editors on the show. Yeah. That's great. They yeah. know the angles, not the show. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, and a waist trainer. Yeah, exactly. And a waist, and a waist trainer <laughs> that I got. Use code Caitlin Brissow for 20% off. <laughs> So started, you started the business and um, the business, so yeah, a couple of weeks ago, launched an app and um, yeah, just doing what I love and health and fitness. Wait, and say the name. It's called Booth Camp. <laughs> Booth Camp. Get it? I, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. We have a whole team of marketers here at your disposal. My friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, right? I like that. Yeah. So what? Are there any tips you'd give for golfers? Let's uh, just make a guy up, like middle-aged golfer, yeah. potentially does does some cardio, not a lot of weight training or strength training. Does he wear glasses? He might. Yeah. <laughs> The tight really sweaters. cool ones. Yeah, he's, he might be wearing a uh, a man Spanx on the show. Uh, what, what kind of what kind of tips would you give people just generally that yeah, want to get? I would know, do full body workouts just like any other athlete. Is that right? And a lot of core work too, especially for golfers, right? Getting that rotation down. Um, a lot of plank stuff, a lot of medicine ball work. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with medicine ball to get that strength. Just come down to Nashville. I'll give you a one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. I gotta I gotta be honest. I totally tuned you out when you said core work. <laughs> Me. You look good, though. I like oh, the way you look. You. Is there? How long would it take a guy like me to look like a guy like you? From the waist down. I mean, from the from, from the, the waist down. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
from the neck down. Waist down. <laughs> Waist Damn down it. ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you know what I meant, you perverts. <laughs> Uh, so how long? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna quickly move right through that. I'm gonna I'm gonna channel my inner Caitlin and just blow right through the embarrassment. How long would it take to get if you took a weeks. lump of clay and I'm emphasizing lump to Man, get into like, like a bag shit. of milk? Yeah, a bag, is that Canadian? A bag of milk? Oh, that's Canadian. Yeah, I've never heard about. You of never milk. got delivered bags of milk when you were growing up? No, I'm from Georgia. We had a cow. It's Canadian. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you're milk. cut like a gummy bear. Cut like a cut gummy, like bear. gummy bear. Yeah. Yes. Twelve weeks? Twelve weeks. Three really? months. If I went to uh, boot yeah, camp? Absolutely. Twelve Probably weeks. Eight to ten weeks for you. Eight to ten. Uh, <laughs> I, love uh, uh, <laughs> I love how we do that. How about from the waist down? <laughs> the waist down. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he already said that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So so life is good for you guys. Life and is good. Uh, I, the only thing that Lex, you guys met Lex, was like, don't ask him. When they're getting married, so I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. But well, you can ask. Oh, we you can ask. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, when are you guys getting married? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we say. Well, I don't know. No. I, I always say that when we know, everyone will know. Like we blast everything on social media. So when we actually start planning, everyone will know. That's got to be, be on. like the biggest question you get asked everywhere you go in Nashville. Yes. When you you're ordering coffee, so. what? Oh, hey, Sean. Yeah, that when you get married. Or what, <laughs> Caitlin? We're <laughs> Everywhere I go, where's, where's Kayla? I like it. Yeah. But don't they ask you the same like, about where's Sean? Where's no. Sean? No? Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Now they know where to find him because he has a gym in now. Funny. Yeah. It's funny how that works, right? I can be at the grocery store or um, Target, whatever. Uh, where's Caitlin? Oh, where's your husband? <laughs> where's your girlfriend? <laughs> you know? I, I don't know, at home maybe? I don't yeah. think anybody ever asked my wife yeah. where I am. <laughs> ever. I'm gonna have to ask her about that. Well, what, one of the one of the, our favorite segments on your podcast is Can You Not? Yeah. So we thought it might be fun to do our version of that here. And that's all I know, because you said that you would surprise us. Well, do you listen to my podcast? Of course. So how do you say can you not? Can you not? Can you not? <laughs> ah, that's debatable. <laughs> say it. Can, can oh, how do you really do it? Can you not? Can yeah, you not? not? There you go. Also, but can we play a fun game first where you sing us a Broadway tune? Yeah, you, would you like to hear I one? I heard yeah. you saw Hamilton. Great oh, Showman. Did I see Hamilton? Yeah. Great, oh, I heard The Greatest Showman. Yeah, yeah we, that. We, I will play the Can You Not, and then when okay. we're done, I'll sing us out with oh, my amazing. favorite Hamilton song. Okay. You so you actually that? saw Hamilton live? Heck yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah, I know. So you get so tickets. Jealous. Pretty good. I know some folks. You oh, do. Yeah. Some folks. Hook us yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? Can you not golf edition? Yeah, can you not golf edition? Can you I like that. can you not not drink with me on the golf course? No. Look at me. Oh, that didn't land. <laughs> oh. Uh, I thought that was gonna land. Oh yeah. Are you a drinker on the golf course? Well, a lot, I think I am. probably a lot of Scrambles, people don't know this. Big time. Are you? Oh, yeah. Is that Caitlin used to be a uh, uh, drink girl on the golf course. Yeah, I was. She was a cart girl. I almost got fired because I got drunk and squealed the tires. <laughs> Squeal the tires. That'll yeah. do it. Yeah, that'll yeah. do it. That'll do it. I heard that's kind of. What's the most off. drinks you ever saw anyone drink on a golf course when you were serving them? Or did you, were you not allowed to serve overserve? I wasn't allowed to overserve. Oh. Yeah. In Canada, that's possible. I know. Yeah. It was like, I know. I thought the same thing. Yeah. It was in Alberta too. Albertans know how to drink. I think here's a big one for me. Okay. Is can you not when you're playing? Can you not pretend you're a tour player when you're just oh playing a casual round? The worst. Yeah. The worst. What is that? Yeah. Like lining up your putt, you're like, yeah. you're going to make double. Yeah. Just, I'll give you yeah. that. Yeah. Move along, AJ. Move along, yeah. yeah. Is, is that targeted at an AJ? No, no, I just made That was the first name that popped in my head. Okay. Yeah. okay. It popped in my head. Kind of along the same lines. Can you not stand over the ball for two minutes? Just, just hit the damn thing. Oh, my just God. Checking everything. Like, come on. Welcome we all know it's world. gonna go right to the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Just hurry this process up. Coincidentally, also AJ. Yeah. <laughs> AJ. Okay. Um, I told you a couple this morning. Come I on. know, I forget. Um, oh, yeah. Can you not stand in my line when I'm putting? Is that <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, that was a good one. Okay. I don't care, but. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> yeah. That happens. Or when they're standing like right behind the hole and just kind of spacing out. Like, yeah. Like, can you, just, you can space out, but just take two steps yeah, that, that way. way. Oh, I got a good one. Yes, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> um, can, <laughs> can you not not get my good swing on Instagram stories? <laughs> he always gets 
that's my a big one, one around here too. Yeah. yeah. Every time he goes, I, it's terrible. But then as soon as I have a good one, he's like on his own Instagram scrolling, and I'm like. Ah, ah. <laughs> we have Amanda that works here, and she always posts on Instagram her golf swing, and I always will send her a text like, "That's pretty good golf swing." And she is honest. She'll say it took 30 to get that. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. That is me. Sorry, Amanda. I had to bring that up here. <laughs> that is me. Do you, are you out there a lot, like together? Because you're in a pretty good spot. In, we do. We in, kind of Tennessee. met golfing. That was one of our dates on the show. Or I ended up naked on the golf course. <laughs> Happens. Yeah. He did. <laughs> was, it uh, was actually so funny because I was beating him at golf, believe it or not. Uh, the, you were. Uh, no. the, all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll let her take that. <laughs> <laughs> the proof is on TV. People can YouTube it. Yeah. And, um, and it was like we played truth or dare because what else do you do on The Bachelorette but get naked? Um, yeah. And so we were Every like. Every scene ends in naked truth or dare, no matter what <laughs> yeah. it is. Like, let's go to a cooking class and then do naked truth or dare. Right. Um, <laughs> but I was like, okay, tr if dare, like, you have to, like, putt naked or something like that. This guy told me it was laundry day. Oh, it was. This is. <laughs> no. Let me tell the story. He let me took tell the off story. his pants and he was wearing well, long john underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so that he didn't get un panty lines. It could have been he didn't have spanks. underwear lines. All right, here's the deal. My pants that I wear are pretty tight. There's right? a young girl in mine. Okay. <laughs> so the boxers that I like had on the show, they kept on like rolling up my thighs, and so there was like a line. And I was like, okay. And then she got me these golf pants I had to wear on the date, and they were like skin tight. So I was like, oh, I don't want these big, so big lines. Spandex. So I wore like a uh, man spank workout, like yeah, Under Armour like tights. Like, tights. <laughs> So it's like the first pants, time I wore them, and like I was there for ten weeks. The first time I wore them, and then the next thing I know, they're so it wasn't out laundry day. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll end it here. <laughs> if you're gonna go on a date with a guy, yeah. and he's gonna wear the tights under the pants. Yeah. And you know that, and you still end up with him. It was meant to be, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks Thank for the wine. Thank you. Check okay. these guys out on social. You're in Nashville. Go buy Sean B and get it. 12 weeks. That's it. I'm going to have to take a 12 week sabbatical and I'll come back <laughs> looking like this guy. But thanks everybody for being here. We'll see you next time on Callaway Live. <laughs> oh, that's it. I can't sing to this one. He has to sing. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm not letting you off the hook. Okay, who wants it? Who knows Hamilton? Who wants it? Throw out a song. Whoa. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, oh, we're still live. Okay, well, we're gonna go. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, my favorite song is kind of a ballad, and I don't wanna do that. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Let's Sing that sound on a ballad. <clears throat> you ready? Oh, boy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my voice. Oh. It's gone. All right, you ready? I'm nervous Dear for you. Theodosia, what to say to you? It's not bad, right? Wait, that was good. Not bad, right? Keep going. Thank you. With those like, three. my smile. You have your mother's name. Ooh, I love that. that was a bad one. <laughs> Cut it out. Let's get out of here. All right.